hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe i appreciate that so much so 2022 here we are and it's already starting in a crappy way now what i'm talking about is um square enix announced that they will be focusing on making more decentralized games yay something that we don't want consistently we don't want nfts in our games we don't want to earn anything in our games we just want to play it and be done with it play the experience enjoy it savor it maybe recommend it and then hand it off to somebody else trade it sell it or just you know stop playing it maybe once in a while go back and uh and play it some more so let's go ahead and cover this article from the verge and i will take you there right now yeah so this is what i i woke up with <laughs> as soon as i went to twitter and this is um this is one of the things that was actually on my feed from my uh, warrior 64 if you haven't done so make sure to follow warrior 64 if you're looking into purchasing ps5 xbox series x or any of those you know uh consoles and he posts deals and then not just that so this is what we woke up to and this is a nice way to start the year what would uh, what's the title square enix promises decentralized games in 2022 it wants a piece of that whole metaverse thing nfts scam what would a fan of fantasy tomb raider dsx look like if it were partly powered by the blockchain so games could make money from their contribution you may get to find out square enix president yosuko Mitsuda has revealed the company's new year resolution is to release decentralized games starting in 2022. While you won't find any details in Masu Masuda's, I can't, I'm pretty sure I'm ruining his name, letter discussing the company's strategies for new year, you'll find a good sense of cautious but optimistic stance, not surprising given how other companies that recently Leroy Jenkins their way into <laughs> NFTs such immediate whiplash you could practically feel the vibration of the internet <laughs> here's the most uh, relevant section which comes near the end now i guess these ceos are not learning they saw what happened to stalker 2 when they tried to implement nfts into their games we're seeing what's happening with um ubisoft with their nfts backlash nobody's interested in it nobody wants it in video games it's supposed to be just an experience where you can immerse yourself and just forget about everything else and enjoy the storyline and enjoy the game for what it is. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be an investment where you, you know, getting these NFTs and hopefully it will become worth something. No, that's not why I play video games. I play video games as a way to escape the reality and then just be immersed into the experience and yeah, have fun. So this is what he has to say. From having fun to earning to contributing, a wide variety of motivation motivations will inspire people to engage with games and connect with one another. It is blockchain-based tokens that will enable this. By designing viable token economies into our games, we will enable self-sustaining game growth. It is precisely this sort of ecosystem that lays at the heart of what I refer to as decentralizing decentralized gaming and i hope that this becomes a major trend i certainly hope this does not become a major trend i hope this thing fucking dies anyway uh going gaming going forward and if we refer to one-way relationship where game players <laughs> game providers are linked by games that are finished products as centralized gaming to contrast it with decentralized gaming then incorporating decentralized games into our portfolio in addition to centralized games will be a major strategic theme for us starting in 2022. The basic and elemental technologies to enable blockchain games, my alarm going off, blockchain games already exist and there have been an increase in social societal <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to get that cough out of the way. There has been an increase in societal literacy and acceptance of crypto assets. Well, we but we, we know what it is. We know what what cryptos is. Crypto is just a big Ponzi scheme where the person that created it or person that's up top is the one that's making all the money. Obviously, 
and they can soon just decide to just <laughs> run away with it. I've seen it happen on that Squid Game token or whatever. That person just decided to cash out all that money that people invested in and just dip. So we already know what it is, man. <laughs> we already know what it is. Okay, so where are we at? Uh, crypto assets in the past few years. We will keep a close eye on societal shifts in this space while listening to the many groups of users that populate it and ramp up our efforts to develop a business accordingly with an eye to potentially issuing our own tokens in the future. At the end of the day, they just want more money. That, that's all they're concerned about is making more money. And any way that they can find to screw the players, they will try to do that. That's why we cannot allow this to happen. We have to draw a line in the sand. This will not happen. This must not happen. We cannot let them cross that fucking line. This is where we draw the fucking line. I'm telling you, we don't want the fucking NFTs in our games and we've spoken about it very loudly that we are not interested in it we don't want it all right let's keep that shit away from gaming it also probably <laughs> probably helps that square Enix doesn't name any particular game that might get the blockchain token treatment so there aren't any specific uh communities uh fans ready to come out bearing pitchforks quite yet Unlike Ubisoft's Ghost Recon NFT announcement, or GSG Stalker 2, <laughs> when gigantic gaming companies are faced with realization that audios, audios of cash are locked up in the buzzwords metaverse and NFTs, they're usually happy to say they've been there and done that. And if they like <laughs> Square Onyx have been plugging away at the whole fantasy meets reality or multi-world thing for years. Square Onyx could have brought up how it already merged Final Fantasy with beloved Disneyland's via its Kingdom Hearts series of games, or how it brought Cloud and Sephiroth, Cipher I don't know, some Final Fantasy items, stages, and music to Nintendo's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and the sort of cross-game pollination, or oh, pollination, that metaverse components suggest that we'll see a lot more of once we figure out the technology. Instead, the company is dipping in a philosoph <laughs> philosophical toe in the water, strongly signaling its intent and perhaps waiting to see how its passionate fan base react to the idea of Square Enix initiating its own token. It's not going to go very well. There's going to be some backlash just from that statement that he put out. Maybe that's what he was looking for. I don't know. I felt like there was enough backlash from Ubisoft to kind of get away from their NFTs, but they're doubling down, even though people clearly don't want it and nobody's interested in it, but they're still doubling down on it and trying to force it upon us. But we will not let that happen. <clears throat> anyway. Square Enix issuing its own token, Square Enix designing more economic economies in its game and those games becoming somewhat more about money than they are today. Square Enix is also promising ample investments in the cold uh, cloud store cloud space, though it's not clear if the company is talking about cloud gaming. We're exploring potential efforts in cloud space for two primarily or oh, primary perspectives. The first being leveraging cloud technologies to distribute content and second being developing content that offers customers new forms of excitement enabled by the cloud's attribution of Masuda rights. So, Square Enix CEO. Nobody's interested in any of that NFTs. I don't know who might be interested in it, but I sure as hell am not interested in it. I play games to play games to have fun to immerse me in the experience. Like, I enjoyed Tomb Raider and I enjoyed, um, well, I'm still gonna, maybe sometime today or maybe within this week or something i'll start that game and that's also been published by square enix the guardian of the galaxy i've heard really good things about it but i haven't started it yet and i will because i want to immerse myself in the fun and the story that's what i'm looking forward to and nfts is just work 
I don't want to work when I'm playing video games. I just want to enjoy myself and not have to worry about doing this and that, whatever. I can just focus on just enjoying myself and just forgetting all my other problems and everything else that's going on in life that happens. And sometimes you just want to escape, and video games is a, as a form from is a form of escape for me that's what i meant to say but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you very much for watching it and yeah it was a long video <laughs> have a good one i'm out